So you're thinking about going to mastering index tuning and you're a developer or a database administrator who's responsible for performance tuning an application that just isn't going fast enough. Maybe you're a C-sharp developer, maybe you're a full-time database administrator, but you're not allowed to make code changes and you've got to make this thing faster, but you're running into stumbling blocks. You've already conquered the basics of how to think like the SQL Server engine and you know the differences between clustered and non-clustered indexes, but now you want to figure out how to design exactly the right non-clustered indexes for an application that already exists. I'm here to help. I'm Bren Ozar, I'm a Microsoft certified master, which just means I made a lot of expensive mistakes along the way with a lot of other people's SQL servers, and now I'm here to help you avoid some of those same mistakes. I do performance tuning for my clients all day, every day, and I want to empower you to use the exact same death method that I use in order to tune indexes on an index, an existing application. We're going to start by deduping and eliminating indexes that are only slowing you down. Then I'm going to teach you how to make the right index changes by adding and tuning indexes for specific queries using SP Blitz Index and SP Blitz Cache, two completely free open source utilities from our first responder kit. Then, when those aren't enough to get you across the finish line, I'm going to teach you how to handcraft a few exceptional indexes like filtered indexes, index views, and indexes on persisted computed columns. During this one-day class, you don't have to follow along on your laptop, but if you want to, I'll be using the open source Stack Overflow database. You can go download the Stack Overflow database from brentozar.com slash go slash query stack. I'm going to be using a mix of the small, medium, and large databases. You can really follow along with any of them. If I had to recommend you to pick one, I'd pick the 50 gig uh, 2013 database. So that way it'll be big enough that slow queries will actually go slow, but small enough that you can still create indexes quickly on your own laptop. You're going to want four cores, 16 gigs of RAM at minimum in order to follow along. And it's really only going to make sense if you're on solid state drives. Don't try to bring a laptop with an old school spinning magnetic rusty frisbee. It's just simply not going to be able to create indexes fast enough. Then, to sweeten the pot a little, I also throw in my consultant toolkit. You don't have to be a consultant in order to use this, but it's the exact same tools that I use that go and rapidly connect to a SQL Server and dump out the contents of things like SP Blitz Index and SP Blitz Cache so that you can have your clients run it and then just send you the results It's built into an Excel spreadsheet so then you can quickly make remote uh, recommendations based on whatever problems they're facing. This whole thing is a one-day pre-con. It's normally a three-day class that I put together and I'm trying to crunch down to the very most essential parts of it and the most important things that I think you really need to learn inside of a day. You can go register for your own spot over at SQLbits.com. I would say don't uh, like dilly-dally around because my pre-cons, especially at SQL Bits, usually do sell out. So if it's important to you to get there, get on over there and register your seat now. I will see you in London.